Hello everybody, welcome to another video. My name is Swelling, but you can call me Sue. And in today's video, I would like to share some pieces I got from Cezanne. So let's get started. Um, a little disclaim, I will separate this video in two parts. Part one with the full price in the second hand because it makes sense. You guys will understand later. Um, all those and this one and those dresses it's gonna be in the part two but I will make all of them go live at the same time then you guys can watch I just think it's kind of better a little bit better if we separate them so the first one I would like to share with you is a it retails for $125 and I got it in size 34 that I think it's number two in US size. Um, I, I really think the fitting is great, it's very lightweight, love the polka dots, they are very ivory, they are not bright white, even in the website they say dark, um, they say navy and ivory um, dots. Or they just say navy <laughs> and ivory. Anyway, I'll put some image and then you guys can see. I absolutely love it. But there's one thing. I really don't like when this part is very square. Probably because I have a lot of roundness on me and I feel like it's more harmonious when I try to reply those curves. <laughs> Um, in every detail, so I really don't appreciate so much square things like square um, shapes on the dress or straight lines. I don't really like so much. This one being a very lightweight and the material being so nice, I wouldn't like care about this so much. But when we compare this one to a little more like French style for sure I prefer this one I feel like it's more feminine this one for some reason brings some more masculine vibes on me that I really appreciate in some women but not as specific on me I don't know if you guys can understand what I'm trying to say but for me a cut that's more rounded brings more harmony to my whole body that's why we're gonna talk about this one now and then you guys can see why I got this one in the first place. So the next one I would like to share is this one. It's called Florenze, Florenze, Florence. I have no idea, I know it's not Italian, but anyway, um, I got it in size 36 because they said if you are between sizes, you should go for the size above. But I got this one in size 36 and you guys can see somewhere that it's not the best fitting. It's a little oversized on me, especially when we compare it to this one that is 34. And I have a group of friends that says this kind of shade of pink, a little between this and the cardigan I have, especially the kind of pink, the same shade of pink as my Zara pink pants. They say that's my shade of pink and I think that's so lovely. So everything that has this more like toasty pink, I absolutely love. So this is the one I enjoy a lot. Probably I'm not keeping because it's 36 and it's a little too big, but for sure I'm gonna buy again in a size small so very nice um, lightweight you can feel very well dressed it's made out of silk 100% silk the buttons are perfect it has this little um, pocket right here and I really don't like the pocket though. I feel like it would be nicer if it was just plain without a button. Just this part here, very French. A little bit vintage style, but a different kind of vintage though. Anyway, I would prefer without the button, uh, without the pocket, 
but everything else it's perfection. I feel it's more feminine. Um, the cuffs are very nice, folded also with buttons. The color is nice. I feel like if you know Cezanne is the regular kind of silk they have. And that's it. I love it. I hope you guys can see some, you know, outfits ideas with this because it's very pretty. And then I was talking to some friends and they said, can you imagine if we have the combination between this polka dot with this kind of, you know, cut? And then they said, yeah, I think they do have, not anymore in the website, but let's see. And I found this one for a bargain on Poshmark. I just absolutely love it. I feel like it's a perfect size. It has some signs of wear, but you cannot really see. Like, it's just right here and a little discoloration right here. But when you are wearing it, you cannot really tell. Um, there's one more place that has some marks, but in, like, in general, it's amazing. It's the same thing, so you have this very vintage French style right here with this pocket, but it's in polka dot with the ivory polka dots. <laughs> it's in navy blue with the uh, ivory polka dots. Um, I paid less than $50. If you guys can see how happy I am, oh my goodness. So anyway, very nice, 100% silk. Um, this one doesn't feel very silky, to be honest, but, oh well, if it's not silk, it's 100% viscose, let's see. Yeah, it says 100% silk, but probably because it had, you know, it's been washed for a few times, feels a little bit different than this one, uh, but anyway, it's so good, it's so pretty. I can really see all the details, very nice, done, no buttons missing, and again, this blouse is very nice. You can dress up, dress down, you can wear with jeans or a little more, you know, a casual, a little more dressed up, if you understand, if you got, get by me. Um, if you wear this one with jeans, you're gonna be casual, but at the same time, you would be like very well dressed up. Um, yes, I think that's it. This one, and oh, I forgot this one. So, this one is called Milo. Milo? Milo? Anyway, um, I have a little problem with t shirts. I don't know if you guys already see, but I normally don't wear them. I really like tank tops bodies or body suits um, or just cardigans or blouses I normally don't go for t-shirts it's not um, in my style I don't feel like I have a very casual style so um, I normally don't wear t-shirts in general but I gave this one a shot because it's pretty the buttons are not the most sophisticated ones, but probably because it's more casual looking and I think they try to give this casual vibe. Um, I don't really can, I can really see better buttons, but in another hand, the buttons are very substantial. If you touch them, they're not thick, um, they're not very thin, they're very thick. What is good because you see the quality here. Also, um, I got it in size small, and it retails for a hundred and um, it retails for seventy dollars. It's pretty sheer. I need to be honest. It's pretty sheer. The cotton feels very undo, or it feels very um, harsh on your skin. I don't know if it's just because I didn't wash because I don't want to keep it but you can it's not a very soft material it's not a very soft uh, cotton 
but I can really see some kind of people pulling, you know, wearing this and being very well dressed up with this. So it really depends on your style and what you're looking for. For me, personally, it's not something I know I would wear. I whether wear a tank top and be, you know, myself. But anyway, I really see this being where, you know, I really see people wearing this for summer with jeans, you know, or nice sneakers and jeans is very, very, very casual. Very pretty though, I really like. It's not very bright white, like crispy white. It's more in the ivory off-white color, what I really appreciate. But I'm not keeping because I feel like it's a little too big. I should got in size extra small. I cannot justify paying $70 for, you know, this, especially because I wouldn't wear so much. But if you really like t-shirts, probably this would be a very good addition in your wardrobe. And in the next video, we're going to talk about this dress and this dress. I think this is Tatiana, Tatiani or something like this. And this is Dahlia or again, something like this. They are super pretty and then I can talk a little bit more about them. Um, so um, to finish this video, I would like to share some fragrance that I would pair with this. So for something like this, that has this very French cut, dark color, probably I would wear something a little more dressed up. I would pair with Rose Blush by Jo Malone. I really think they go very well together. This one has some lychee vibe, but at the same time some basil. It does not have lychee in the composition, but I don't know, I just like... Judge me. <laughs> um, and it has just rose and basil, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe one more uh, note. But it's very simple, it really brings me lychee vibes and I really think they would pair very nicely together. This one though, I would pair with um, Delina La Rose because it's super, not super, but it's a little more masculine leading and you know sometimes i like pairing super masculine and more not super masculine but a little more masculine vibe to a feminine fragrance i feel like it brings some contrast and i feel like sometimes it works for this one i would pair with maison francis card cushion a la rose very girly very rosy powdery a little a little bit vintage. I wouldn't say it's a vintage fragrance like Chanel number no. 5 or even another one I tried before, but you know, a little more powdery, a little more like girly, a little different. And this one that brings me more like summer vibes, you know, like hot weather because it's very breezy and fresh. I would wear something in the same vibe. And I really think this goes very nicely with Dylan Turquoise from uh, Versace. It is very feminine, but at the same time, you know, just fresh, watery, or aquatic, as the bottle says. So I would pair them together because it brings some a little more like beachy vibe, but at the same time aquatic well-dressed, smelling good, and fresh. So I think that's it for now. Um, I cannot wait to share with you this and the two other pieces from my archive. So keep on watching the next video. Bye! So the first one I would like to share with you is A. It retails for $125. Dollars? Dollars? Oh, 